guys. Good morning. Uh, on, uh, Jesus Name Ministries. And what we wanted to do is just kind of, um, I don't have a whole lot today. I'm not going to be uh, preaching and teaching a lot of today as, as normal. Um, kind of felt like the Lord wanted me to not do that. He didn't give me something that I felt that uh, I would be doing that today. So again, I want to be led of the Spirit. And uh, I want Him to give me what I need to say because I, I can't do anything for anyone else. Um, but anyhow, I do want to lift him up today. I wanted to uh, make mention of uh, Hebrews 1 uh, and 1. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Now get this. We have been talking about the old law being done away with. That's scripture. Um, we, we know that the new covenant is, is in place. And uh, today there is a lot of mixture. We talked about the new wine being put in old bottles and, and the old bottles would break. And it's just not something God's uh, accepting today. Um, so uh, I know there's a lot of folks that uh, uh, some mean well, others don't. Um, some are just uh, off doing whatever. I don't know where God stands on a lot of that, but I will tell you today, um, let's, let's finish God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in times past, in time past, unto the fathers by the prophets. Get what he's saying here. God once spoke to the people through and by the prophets. Now, verse 2 in Hebrews, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. All right? This, again, it, I, I, I admonish you, I, I encourage you, if there could be a, a flip-flop there, but to go listen to the last three segments. Uh, there's a part one, part two, and, and a part three. Um, this is very important. Um, I, I really believe today, I really believe today that, that so many people are missing, missing God's blessings and his his uh, his um uh, okay <laughs> uh and i believe they're missing it because they keep trying to drag the old law across the grace line and, and i tell you it, it's you're gonna have to figure it out folks you gotta you gotta get away from that but um you're sitting under that I, I don't know what you do i can't tell you what to do i can tell you but you need not be listening to that and you need not be accepting that that is, that is the Bible. I, I can tell you that for sure. Um, so, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, not the prophets. And, and I know we've, we've talked about, and I'm going to say it again, these people who want to say they're a prophet today, these people want to say they're an apostle today, they, they, want, to, they want to put offices in front of their names. Um, I think they're an error. I think you're, if, you're, if you're believing that, you're an error. Um, this is, this is not what we see in the scripture. And I know in Acts, yeah, they, they talk about deacons and bishops and things like that. Um, man, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not there. I'm not there. Uh, I, I, I know what Jesus said. I know the spirit that he brought. He said that the servant is not greater than the master. He did not take on any, any form of office other than the son of man. He lowered himself. And when you see men, when you see people believing, um, and I, I'm telling you right now, I don't care what it says. I don't really care. If, if it's out of tune with Jesus, if it's out of tune with his spirit, his character, and my Holy Ghost don't agree with it based on the word of God. And there's a difference there. I'm staying with Jesus. Y'all can go with man if you want. I'm not going with man. I'm going to stay with Jesus. And I will be bold enough in the Holy Ghost to rebuke that. In Jesus' name, amen. So, hath in these last days, verse 2 of Hebrews 1, chapter 1, verse 2 of Hebrews, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Not the prophets. We, we're not taking the prophets anymore. That's, those are done away. Read the scripture, and this is 
Here's another thing. A love for the truth. <laughs> if you are sitting under somebody or you're, you're being taught by somebody and, and, and they cannot alter their thoughts, their way, when they see the truth, then they don't love the truth. They love a tradition of man. They love an organization. They're going to stay loyal to an organization. They're going to stay loyal to a man. And that's what you can't do and serve God. Amen. He said you can't serve mammon, which he's talking about the world. Well, who's in the world? You think flesh and blood is going to inherit the kingdom of God? No, it's not. It's not. Including man, flesh. All right, so hath he in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. What is that saying? Jesus is the express person, image of the person of God. He is God. He is representative. He, what what the, the apostle saw in Jesus while he was here on earth was God. Every bit. Amen. Not all inclusive because God's everywhere and all knowing. However, in that form, he was every bit of God. Amen. So, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had made by himself purged our sins. When he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. You know what the right hand is? It's the power. It's the force. Amen. In the beginning was the word. I heard a, I heard a message this morning. I, I listened to it. Um, and quickly figured out it was a Trinity minister. Uh, speaking or speaker, I should say, <laughs> um, but he taught <laughs> John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, the same was in the beginning with God, and without God was not anything, the Word without anything was made, that was made. Uh, went down to chapter, uh, verse 14, <laughs> um, where the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, Emmanuel, God being with us. And, and, and it all, outside of him making comments, saying that it was, this was God the Son and, and the Sonship and God the, the Holy Ghost and God the Father and, and, and mentioning the Trinity, outside of his commentary, it was a oneness message. And, and I thought, you know, this is, this is probably more oneness today of what this man just preached than a lot of the oneness preachers preached this morning. <laughs> I was like... Yeah, I was intrigued. I was like, yeah, it's the word of God. And as you're saying it, outside of his comment, comments of trying to bring in a trinity, uh, he was right on on the message this morning. Uh, and, and, and God said he's Jesus who was the express image. Amen. So this is who we have today. And this is who we listen to. It's in your Bible. It tells you that we're no longer listening to the prophets. At times past. Do you not get that? Read Hebrews 1 and 1, simple. God who at sundry times, various times, in diverse manners, in different ways, spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. David heard from a prophet. We got Samuel. We got all kinds of prophets throughout the scripture in the Old Testament. God at sundry various times spoke to man through prophets. Now, guess what? Chap verse 2. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Alright? So if you go back and listen to our messages, the last three messages, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. You're going to see exactly where the old law is done away. The new law is come in. Amen. The covenant of Jesus Christ. And this man brought this out today. And I thought, wow. That's pretty good. I'm not sure they understand what they're saying, but they're saying some good things. They're saying it right. And, and that's that's what, when I, when I was just browsing, I seen that. I, I was drawn to it, to, to listen to it. And uh, I'm like, that's kind of what we've been saying. And this guy was saying it this morning uh, to a church. Um, and so, anyhow, I just 
man, I tell you, I just feel like that uh, y'all would just go back and listen to those and, 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 and link yourself up with the Holy Ghost. I think God wants to show you some stuff. And uh, I'm not taking any credit. You ain't got to listen to my stuff because of me. That's what the Lord gave me. And I feel like it's a, a, a really good thing for y'all to listen to. Um, and if you obey what the scripture says, you'll be all right. Amen. Um, again, I know there's a lot of sacrifice and all this stuff people's talking about today. Um, I'm not just here in one place. <laughs> but it doesn't matter what you sacrifice to God. It doesn't matter how you hold your tongue. It doesn't matter how you dress. Unless you're in obedience to Christ. If you're not obeying him, it's all out the door. Amen. It's, it's done. It, he don't even care to hear. It's, it's a stench. So if you, if you can't, somebody can't come to you and say, Here, what's, here's the word of the Lord. This is, let's say it's the word of God. And you write it off or write them off. Guess what? I don't think God's listening to you anymore. I really don't. I don't think he's blessing. You know, you can you can go to work. You can work all week. You can expect a paycheck. You don't have to be righteous to, to see the money in your bank. God ain't gonna stop that. So if you're if you're waiting on confirmation whether or not, oh, this is right, and oh well, you know. God ain't struck me dead out of heaven because I'm, I'm still going to this church and listening to that stuff. Um, you know, you can't go with that. You've got to, you've got to go with what the word says. And you've got to pray and you've got to seek the Lord and, and in obedience. So I don't think we have a sacrifice problem today. We, we have an obedience problem. We're, we're not doing what thus saith the word of God says. We're not understanding. We're allowing junk false teaching, deceiving to come into our, 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 our space. And, and we've got to do away with that some way, somehow. I don't care. I don't know how you deal with it. You, you just, you, you have to refrain from it. That's what God said. We, we've got an obedience problem. It's not to man because too many, too many of y'all just listen to man. That's, that's, that's what you're doing. You're living by what man says, uh, not to God. And uh, he said, obedience is better than sacrifice. And Isaiah, and I posted this this morning, uh, 1, 11 through 14, I'll read it here. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifice unto me? This is what the Lord's saying. To his children, his people, not the heathens, saith the Lord, I am full of the burnt offerings of rams. I, I, I could change a lot of this stuff up to bring it to today. I'm not, not going to belabor it. But you, you can just insert those things today. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't offer rent. No, but what you do offer, you, you can, you can just, you can just realize that in your mind. What, what's really going on today? You're not offering rams. Oh. And the fat of uh, fed beast, and I delete, delight not in the blood of bullocks or of rams or of goats. When you come to appear before me. Who hath required this at your hand to tread my courts? Who, who told you to come do this? Who, who told you to, I don't know, give offering? Yeah, oh, I gave $100 this morning. Oh, I, I fasted three days. I fasted five days. Somebody told me I needed to do this or that. that that's not the Lord, I'm telling you right now. Quit listening to man. You have a connection with God yourself. God will impress upon you. If he can't talk to you, then you're you're really not with him. You don't need man to tell you when to do this or that. You don't need that. You know, they, they want to wrap it up in what they call corporate worship. Corporate blah, blah, blah. Corporate's the problem. Go read Matthew 23. If you think corporate's not a problem, go read Matthew 23. See, see how many times Jesus said hypocrites. You're doing it to be seen of men. When you pray, go to your closet. Two or three gather together in his name. That's cool. But you've got to realize when you go pray, you're not trying to get man glory. 
You're not being a man pleaser. And if you are, you're not finding God. God ain't listening. So he said, I'm full of the burnt offerings and the rams. I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of the goats. When you come appear before me, when you come to appear before me, who required this at your hand to tread my courts? Who told you to come here? Are you just listening to other people? Or are you communing, communing with me? Am I not able to reach to you and talk to you? He said, bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. And you can convert that however you want. Today, prayers, things like that. He said, if your heart's not there, you're just babbling. He's not listening. He said, the new moons and the Sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, you're going to come together. Means zero to God if you're not obedient to him. I cannot away with it, he says. It is iniquity. It's sin. You, you, you're, you're assembling together. You're not obeying me. You're assembling together in sin. And you want me to come and bless that? Serious? Even the solemn meeting, he said. I'm going to say that's probably a prayer meeting. You come in your prayer meetings. He said, your new moons and your appointed feast, my soul hateth. That's what the Lord said. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to hear them. Enter the straight gate, my friend. For as much as we've heard, and this is Acts 15, 24. This is, this is the traditions of man. That's what the, these, <laughs> the apostles, the disciples tried to keep struggling holding on to the law. When Jesus came to set us free, and this is what's being preached every Sunday, it's, it's it, the, the ordinances, the, the, the man-pleasing, the traditions continue every, every, every service of these man-made kingdoms. And God is sick of it. And this is what the apostle said. <laughs> James says, for as much as we have, you, we have heard that certain which went out, out from us, have troubled you with words subverting your soul, saying you must be circumcised. Now go read Acts 15. And he said, and keep the law. He said, to whom we gave no such commandment. We are not requiring you to obey the law, the old law, when you just got the Holy Ghost, you got what Jesus said you were going to get. He freed you. We're not going to drag you back into the law and commandments of men. So start with seeking forgiveness from God for this. You got to move on. Amen. Confess your faults one to another, the Bible says. Pray one for another that you may be healed. God gives ear to obedience and grace to the humble. And he says, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Targeted prayer. Amen. And I'm going to go one more scripture here. Matthew 15, 8 and 9. He said, this people draweth unto me, nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. They're not getting it. They're not doing it. They're not with me. They're not <laughs> obeying my word. They're not understanding what I want from them. He said, but in vain, they do worship me. Teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. Friend, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> you're listening to this stuff. You're going with this stuff. You have to repent. I, I don't, I'm not going to say a whole lot more today. I would admonish you. I would uh, encourage you to go uh, listen to the last three. You can find them on uh, YouTube, uh, Jesus Name Ministries. Um, if you need to know where they're at, they're also on Facebook. Um, but this is some stuff you're not going to hear across them pulpits out there. I'm telling you right now, those three, those three parts, one, two, and three, is not what you will hear behind the pulpits today. They're not going to teach it. And this is this is stuff that 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 God is wanting us to know. Amen. And uh, 
Anyhow, God bless you guys. I hope everybody uh, has a wonderful holiday. Merry Christmas to you. Amen. Happy New Year. If I don't get to see you or talk to you or uh, see you on Facebook. But uh, anyhow, um, God bless you guys. I'm praying for everybody that listens to any of these messages. I, I want you to know that uh, you're in my prayers and I love you. And I hope that God will, will open, uh, expand your horizons. Amen. Bless your families in Jesus' name.